excited. I need you to do me a huge favor. Um, can you please uh, take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, maybe calling you. So if you can, please take your name off that. And um, you gotta do this for me. Huge. Quickly. Alright, bye. Sick. A lot of cats, man, and this is just the world we live in, man, that a lot of these cats that you think are, are about something, homie, are, are tricks to the game, and they got uh, addictions to dumb shit that that, uh, that you should not be listening to them, man. I would not uh, 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 really take the words of a, of a reformed crack addict uh, too seriously. You understand what I mean? A lot of these cats are, are sick in the way that they apply... Uh, their life homie and once you get dirty in this game homie you can't really be trusted when i was a kid man you know what i'm saying you grow up you have cats who always smoking weed same as y'all right you know y'all know people who always smoking weed if a dude is always smoking weed homie he's probably going through a g a month of uh, weed right but this dude is always broke uh, so if this dude started talking to me about money the first thing I would expect him to do is stop spending a G a month on weed if he's needing money, right? But if he if he does not stop his habit that goes against his hustle, then I got to say to that motherfucker, I can't listen to you. Even if you told me where the goose who laid the golden egg was, I would have to second guess whether you know what the hell you're talking about. Because the dude is sick, homie. And when I say sick, I just mean... Look, these dudes, uh, they, they, they put so much stuff into their life, into their life and into their body, homie, that they can't be trusted with regular stuff. This is why they have drug testing, uh, things when you go to work, homie, when they make you pee in a cup. Because nobody in a right mind of about their damn money allows these kind of motherfuckers to be around their chips. You know what I'm saying? Nobody allows motherfuckers with trick habits to be around their chips. You know what I'm saying? So, when I put out this podcast for sick, man, I'm really trying to get you young cats to understand. I don't know if some of you cats are sick yourself right now. Every day you want to go and have a drink. Every day you want to smoke weed. Every day you go into a strip club. Every day you trying to uh, get over. Every day you got you you talking about porn actresses. You know, one time I where was I don't remember where I was, homie, but you know, you always see some trick shit on the street. Um, I don't know where I was. It could have been, it could have been Atlanta, could have been uh, Philly, could have been, uh, it could have been Birmingham. I don't remember where I was, but you know, one time I was going down the street sometime and I saw, you know, you see these party flyers, right? And you see them, you know, nice party flyers with some woman on the front, right? And then all of a sudden I'm looking at the thing, man. I pick up the party flyer. I, hey, man, it's a nice looking woman. I pick up and see what's popping. And then the next thing you know, man, this is a, a, a party flyer for some stripper. Not a stripper, I mean a porn actress. Coming into town and they had a show with the, the, the porn actress. And I said, man, this is, this is a new level of tricking that you motherfuckers are on. You motherfuckers actually want to go and uh, see uh, and, and be in the presence of someone who sucked a million dicks. You know what I'm saying? This is some sick shit that you motherfuckers are on. And I just laughed at it and thought to myself, you know, I must come from a, a, another era. You know what I'm saying? The post-Reagan era. <laughs> because, uh, uh, or, you know, just a California thing, man, that we don't trick like that, homie. We don't we don't uh, entertain the, the ideas of being sick like that. You know, uh, cats may go see strippers. Nobody got no beef with that. You know, just don't act like you know them all. Because that's some trick shit, too. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's interesting to see what sick motherfuckers will say and what they'll do. And what I'm trying to tell you is that it messes up your money. It really messes up your life to keep these kind of loose cannon motherfuckers around. And the reason why I call them loose cannon, homie, is, you know, if a man doesn't care about what he puts out there, homie, then he'll put anything out and he'll put your shit out there, too. Uh, if a man doesn't care how he's uh, perceived by others... You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about accepted. I mean perceived. All right? Accepted is I like you. Perceived is 
I don't, I don't, he doesn't really do anything. He's not really standing out for me to call him a trick. If a man doesn't do that, then you got to call this dude a liability. And he might fuck up your money in the future. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes and a lot of the world on me is sick right now. Uh, in the black community, especially in the, on the lower levels, homie. It's a lot of people who are sick to the game because they, uh, uh, you know, it's a steamrolling. I mean, you know, as they tell you, like, you know, they'll say, like, weed is a gateway drug to, to other shit. And I, I used to think, nah, that's not true. That's not true. And now I think, you know, all the, all this little shit is the gateway to heavy tricking. Um, and a lot of these motherfuckers are sick. And I mean, it's a gateway to heavy tricking because uh, first thing they do is you go to, uh, uh, you know, you might go to a strip club every once in a while. You might go when you were in, in the first couple of years of college. And then after that, now it's a couple of these dudes that go forever and they know everybody. They know the, the, the sham strippers' names, you know what I'm saying? And all kind of after after events that don't really involve sex, you know what I'm saying? They, they just know people. Who the fuck in their right mind know strippers like that, homie? Unless you happen to be the dude who owns the damn club, right? Who who would know people? Unless the damn stripper live next door to you, homie. Unless unless the stripper go to college with you, homie. You know who in the hell would know these motherfuckers like that? Oh, you know there go peaches. I'm a, you know what I'm saying I, I hang out with peaches and I talk to peaches and all that shit. Who, who what kind of trick know these motherfuckers? And who would be happy to tell a motherfucker about that shit? So when you see motherfuckers like this, man, you really gotta understand that they sick. And when you see a sick motherfucker around you, man, you gotta keep your distance, especially keep your chips away from them. Because they don't know what they're doing. They think that somehow this is, uh, uh, okay. Uh, no matter what these motherfuckers say, homie, all this stripping and weed and alcohol and all this shit is, is, is really not even part of regular society. You think it is because you actually on the lower levels of society, homie. When you walking around and you know prostitutes and all that shit, when, when, when I come up from Compton, homie, I know all this shit. This shit is where I lived. This is what I grew up in. You understand what I mean? But as soon as I got out of that shit, I didn't run into too many motherfuckers moving keys. I didn't run into too many motherfuckers smoking weed. I didn't run into too many motherfuckers tripping. I didn't run into all this shit no more. One time around, what is this about? It's about 99, right? 99, 2000. Me and my boys was up in uh, New York for, for the, uh, New Year's, right? You know, when the ball dropped, right? So we staying up around, I think about Columbia College, we were up there, and, uh, you know, we all chopping it up with some cats, I don't know, I don't know who these dudes are, but you know, we chopping it up, and I'm, I don't care, you know, we came here to have a good time, and I'm chopping it up with whoever around me, right, so we in there, and, and one of the dudes, you know, they talking about all this shit, you know, some old trick shit, oh man, you know, I, uh, I did some mushrooms, and other people say, yeah, that's crazy, man, you know me, I always call that shit white boy drugs, you know it. Black people over here doing white boy drugs right now. A lot of y'all motherfuckers doing white boy drugs. Uh, they put something in a pill. Y'all motherfuckers popping pills. You know, that's what little white boys did on me when they steal the pills out of their mama's cabinets and shit and get addicted to chlorotrimatin and shit. But a lot of y'all, y'all little motherfuckers sick. But, but the thing is, uh, we, we chilling with this cat. And then, you know, the dumb motherfuckers, homie, you know, it's always tell the dumb motherfuckers that always want to say what they did was worse than the next motherfucker, which is, which is the stupidest shit in the world to be on a race to the bottom, you know. Uh, I fuck two prostitutes, I fuck three prostitutes, these motherfuckers are tricks. So, the thing is, homeboy said, you know, he said, uh, yeah, man, you know, I did mushrooms. Another dude said, you know, he did some shit I never heard of. Then, then uh, another dude said, you know, I did crack. And we all kind of stopped and looked at the motherfucker and said, I told homeboy, I said, hey, homie, look, man, uh, uh, do you got a death wish, homie? It's one thing that black people do know, homie, is that what crack will do to a motherfucker. We do see that shit on the street. And, uh, motherfuckers just thought he was crazy. Now, this dumb motherfucker, he's young in the game. You know, we're all kind of young in the game. I just had my brain on tight. But, uh, um, this cat, you know, he, he telling people that he over here smoking crack. And I'm like, damn, man, this is, this is the sick shit we talking about. How can you build with this kind of motherfucker? How can I, how can I really make money with, in the back of my head, I know that this motherfucker is this way. Look, man, I know a lot of cats from Compton. We all did what we had to do and all, a lot of us hustling and all that shit. But I'll be damned if I try to break bread with motherfuckers who are drug addicts on me. 
Hey, I don't care if they got off that drug shit. I, I'll be damned if I'm trying to break bread with motherfuckers who are drug addicts. And I just mean, I mean that with the motherfuckers who smoke weed too much, too. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody act like, that's not a drug, that's not a drug. Look, man, a drug is anything that alters your state, homie. If you drink a whole bunch of NyQuil, you on a drug, motherfucker. If you, if you take a whole bunch of painkillers, motherfucker, you on a drug. You understand what I'm saying? So if you addicted to any of this shit, you sick, homie. And why would I be trying to break bread or make money with this kind of motherfucker? A lot of people in this game are sick, homie. You're going to realize that when you get older and older and older. A lot of these dudes who you think are, are about it, motherfucker, have have weird fetishes, homie. Weird, you know. If you don't know what a fetish is, like I told somebody, black people didn't know what a fetish was until white people kept, kept doing the same weird shit, licking toes and shit. So, if you know, there's a lot of sick motherfuckers in this game, homie. And the more you live that fast life, that's why I fall back from it, homie. It ain't nothing over there for me. It ain't nothing on that side for me. You know, everybody, oh man, used to go to all these parties, used to do this, and you kind of don't do any of that shit no more. Look, man, I done seen a lot of shit. I seen motherfuckers snorting cocaine. I seen some weird shit going on in my day, homie, and I ain't got no reason. And like I said, I'm not a, I'm not old with gray hairs in my head. I backed up early, homie. I don't want to be around that shit. You know what I'm saying? Where the tricking is a hobby. The way these motherfuckers do it. But a lot of these cats are sick to the game, man. And you gotta, you know, if you really about your chips, homie, you need to keep them away. Uh, anybody with trick habits. Weed, um, alcohol. Uh, and I'm not saying drinking alcohol is bad. I'm talking about some motherfuckers drink it to, to, uh, for a happy hour. And then some motherfuckers gotta have some Hennessy all motherfucking day. That's, that's, that's a bad shit. Uh, strippers and women, you know what I'm saying? That's some trick shit. That's some sick shit, homie. You know what I'm saying? When you get into the point where you're trying to uh, uh, get to know or take a con motherfuckers who su already sucking dick, what the fuck you trying to trying to get them on your team for when they already sucking somebody else's dick? This is this is the kind of sick shit that motherfuckers be on, homie. You gotta be up on this shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers are. Uh, uh, there's all kind of junkies, homie, and, and I always use drugs and women because that's where the majority of, of y'all young motherfuckers fuck up in the game. You know, there's a time, I remember when uh, everybody was shocked, Master P don't drink no more, and I, I said, this cat is straightening this himself up, because he probably was hanging around too much trick shit, seeing some trick shit go down and say, man, I can't have my life be this way. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I'm probably on the same angle of saying whatever whatever negativity got to come from it. If I got to go to uh, uh, parties that motherfuckers would think that still sound exciting or something like that. If I got to, tr I'm trying to stay away from the trick shit. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you can't go into a party or a situation where where the girl you want to talk to suck the dick of 20 other dudes and then you're trying to make your wife out of it. A lot of motherfuckers do this, homie. A lot of motherfuckers will not admit this shit to you as a man that that they thought they could take this hoe and make her their housewife. You understand what I mean? And now they're getting a divorce because of some trick shit. They will never admit that. You know what I'm saying? That that's why they didn't use their brain when they when they actually married this woman. They, you know, it's a lot of sick tricks in this game, homie. It's a lot of sick motherfuckers in this game. Um, and they will talk to you like they are on a 100 about their shit. And they, you know what I'm saying? They will ask you to excuse them for their trickness while you, uh, while you, enter, you know, you make chips with them. You gotta understand that this is exactly the game they're trying to do. And this is the game we gotta stay away from. You know what I'm saying? If you are not smart enough to, to make sure you don't have enough bad habits to fuck, to, to don't fuck up your money, homie. Then what can I say to you? What can I say to you, man? Because it's the same way you trying to impress a girl, man. You got to impress the chips, man. You understand what I mean? You got to clean yourself up and not have all these habits. A lot of motherfuckers have weird habits. A lot of y'all never party with a couple of white boys. If y'all ever party with white boys, I don't do that because I don't have no time for no no slip of the tongue on some racist shit because I will go fucking annihilation on their ass. I do not play the the n-word slippage shit you better not say it around me at all so the thing is i used to hang around this shit when i was younger 
And uh, sometimes, you know, these motherfuckers will, uh, and some of y'all know this, sometimes one of these motherfuckers, they'll get so drunk, man, the motherfuckers will try to go put on women clothing. I have yet to meet a brother that puts on women clothing when they get drunk. I don't care how drunk we get. You know what I'm saying? So once you see that shit, that's a sign that, oh boy, we dealing with a motherfucker that, that got a, a sickness in his head and boy, this shit, and damn it, I can't, I can't build with this kind of dude. This shit is a major strikeout, homie. It's not one strike, it's a strikeout, man. Sit this bitch in the dugout, homie, and get him out of the way of what we trying to do. A lot of motherfuckers are like, oh, that's nothing. That's what everybody do. You know what I'm saying? That's not what everybody do. That's what your trick sick ass does. So be aware, man, that when you go out into this game, that there's a lot of sick motherfuckers. Uh, you won't get to notice till you up close and personal with them that this is the kind of shit they about. Um, somehow they think they can be the, the best businessman in the world and shit and then sleep with 10 hookers. Uh, when you find out this trick shit, homie, what are, what are you going to do about it? My thing is, you can see it on the motherfucker when you first meet him. Keep your distance, keep your chips, keep your life away from these sick motherfuckers. There's a whole bunch of people who believe in this shit right now. And they all fallen victim. Motherfuckers ain't telling you that they got AIDS. Motherfuckers ain't telling you that they got herpes. Motherfuckers ain't telling you that they dealing with all kinds of diseases and shit on a low. And your ass coming out here, uh, you know, you wouldn't hang around a leper, homie. If you saw a dude with a big ass cold sore the size of his fucking nose on the side of his face, you would say, what the fuck going on? Right? But these, these motherfuckers got other kind of cold sores that you can't see through their tricking, drugging, and drinking, homie. You gotta watch out. The reason why I call it sick, homie, because if they were, if they wanted to better themselves, they would stop this shit and straighten up. But since they don't want to better themselves, homie, they trying to justify their sick-ass ways to you. Be careful who you hang around, who you build with. There comes a time in every man's life when he decides that he doesn't want to hang around no more trick shit anymore. You know, I already made that decision. There's a lot of people I don't hang around no more. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't have that motherfucker's ruining my life. If that means I gotta start all over, find some new cats to hang around, so be it. But I got rid of a lot of sick trick shit all day. And motherfuckers say, well, you know, him uh, doing all that shit don't affect you. Man, you know what? If you if you really friends with somebody, what they do affects you all the time. If you ain't friends with them, homie, then they wouldn't affect you because you wouldn't be around their bitch asses too much longer, would you? You wouldn't even be around them. So if the shit affects you, that means you know them. That means they're your friends. And that means you got to cut these motherfuckers off. You either give them a warning, give them a pass, or get away from their ass. You dig? Stay away from the sick, homie. Next time, partner. Hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. I need you to do me a 